Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another lesson on Unity. And so far you have a cube that you can move around and in the console it tells you whether it's touching the floor or not. So if you're moving the cube on the floor it says true, but if you start hovering in the air it will say false. Touching the ground true, hovering false. So if you don't have that set up yet, please have a look at my previous tutorial on how to check if an object is grounded. So after having done this, we are now going to move on to how to make it jump. So let's go back into the code and edit the script. So here is the script that we have so far. And what I want to do now is I want to only jump. So <clears throat> in the if statement for pressing the spacebar, I want to only um, jump when the is grounded uh, function returns a true value. So all I need to do is put here and is grounded. So what it's doing is it's going to run this function if it's true and if I press the spacebar then it's going to jump. So let's save that and see what happens. So what you would see is that if I play the game now, you can still move up, down, left, right, but you can't jump anymore. Why can't you jump anymore? Because <clears throat> as soon as you press space and it floats, the variable here will turn into false and then it won't float anymore. It won't add the force to the cube. So now we need to fix that. So what we're going to do is go back to the code and I will talk you through it. So the problem lies with this line. This line says that we want to add a force to the rigid body object, which is our cube. And the problem with this code is that as force is added to my cube, it will raise the speed gradually. So gradually, because force equals mass times acceleration, so acceleration will change the speed, so the box will move up. Uh, starting with a speed of zero, speed will increase from zero to one to two and so on. And that's not going to work because uh, as soon as it moves up a little bit, it checks whether it's grounded is true or not and it's grounded is false so then it stops adding the force so gravity is going to pull it down again so in order to fix all of that what we need to do is change the code from add force to adding the velocity adding the velocity straight away so the way we're going to do that is we're going to go rb dot velocity okay if we change the velocity to something greater um, then we don't need to add force to it. So RB velocity equals RB dot velocity plus. So velocity is actually a vector because if you imagine speed, what direction is your speed? What, di what direction is your speed? What direction plus speed is velocity? So what we're going to do is we're going to define a velocity so let's go vector 3 space jump velocity jump velocity equals new vector 3 it's a vector with three dimensions and the horizontal x velocity is 0 the y velocity is going to be the jump speed that we defined earlier on. Jump speed. And the z velocity is zero. So we only have some speed in the y direction, which is going to make it move upwards. And then we're going to go rb velocity equals rb velocity plus jump velocity. Okay, so let's save this code and let's test it out in Unity.
Okay, so then we go space, it jumps. And the cool thing is, if you press space in midair, it doesn't jump. It'll only jump when it's touching the floor. So this is now jumping. Now one last thing that I'm going to fix is when you touch a wall, you can see that it gets stuck on the wall for a little bit. Okay, so it hovers in the air if you touch against the wall. Now that's pretty realistic considering that there is a bit of friction on the box. So if you're pushing against the wall, there is a bit of friction that stops it from falling. But let's say you want to change that. All you got to do is you're going to go into your project, right click, create, create a new uh, physics material. Uh, where is the physics material? Create material. No, that's not it. Right click, create physics material. It, we're just going to call it smooth. And I'm going to attach this physics material to my player object so that you can see under the player in the box collider the material is set to smooth so we can now edit this material and you can see there's a bit of friction here dynamic friction means when the object is moving how much friction there is static friction means when the object is not moving is uh, static which means it's stationary how much friction there is so i'm just going to change both of them to one make it a bit oh sorry make it a bit smaller 0 0.1 so less friction so now if i touch the wall it shouldn't stay in the air for as long so you can see here i touch the wall it slides down a lot quicker touch the wall slide down a lot quicker okay thanks for watching guys see you next time